Good day guys, I'm Jess of iMerge. Uh, I'm about to discuss to you how ETL works with SQL Server. Okay, so first things first, what is ETL? So ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load of Data. Okay, so when we say extract, it's how you define the source of the data. It can either be uh, a flat file or SQL server file, MySQL server file, or or even Excel. Okay. So once you have the source, you have the capability to transform each column of that Excel file or or um, flat file. You get you can you can load it. So we go we go to load it. We go we, we could uh, load it to to any um, uh, platform. Once done. You can you can convert your extracted file to SQL Server, or Excel, or even flat file. So with this demo, I'll be showing you how it works practically. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we go to to SQL Server. I'm gonna open it. So I'll be using my database, of course, the DBI merge. Okay, so I'm open with with training. You just uh, don't don't hesitate to PM me and then let's talk. Okay, so I'm I'm offering training, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna click SQL Server. So I'll be using the database um, DB merge uh, I merge. Oh, and then inside this this image, I I created uh, a column here, uh, a table. So this is TBL just Dale. So edit up to hundred for us to see what are the data inside. So it's been populated. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna truncate it. So when I say truncate, I clean all the data inside that table. Okay. So what's that table? gonna drag it here and there so it's done so for us to double check okay select this table then asteris from I'm gonna run it there you are so it, there's no more data at all now uh, I'll add some data so I'll be using Excel okay so Excel file I'll put um, Dale uh, Rupert seven clear let's say um, jazz okay it's so gonna save it oops back <laughs> now so I added some data okay so I'll be using Excel Okay, now I'll be opening the Visual Studio. So what Visual Studio? I'll be using SSDT uh, 217, 2017. I'm gonna run this one as admin, of course. This one, okay. Run as admin, we just wait. Click yes, okay. Okay, so now we'll be choosing file here and then click new and then new project, okay. So and then I'll be choosing under business intelligence, of course, ETL is under business intelligence, um, integration service. And then I'll name this project as um, iMerge Bossdale, and then click OK. There, we go. just wait for the um, project to finish. Uh, this, this, um, this process will help me um, prepare myself for the um, the, the process on how we define process inside SSIS. So for us to define a process, you just drag this data flow here, and then this data flow will define what source and then what's the what would be the destination of the file. Okay, so double click inside, and then here I'll be choosing um, a source. So what would be the source? Of course, it's an Excel. Okay, you drag it here slowly. And then, of course, if you have source, you need a destination. And then, 
last but not the least a data conversion here so here we're going to configure each object first we're going to configure excel first so we're going to locate where's where is the excel located okay so desktop it's it's here under desktop okay so it's it's been created uh with the version of microsoft excel 97 2003 okay so click ok so table or views and then i choose of course sh the sheet one gonna preview the sheet one so here here are the datas okay so i'm good with the datas and then i'm gonna put it here and then add it here so we're gonna configure the destination okay so we're gonna configure the destination um click new of course and then we're gonna use the local by doing the uh simple thing the basic thing which is the dot so okay so and then click okay put the dot on the um, server name okay so, and then I, I merge and then test connection so it's working correctly and then click OK there so once done I just click OK here and then the table I choose just there so I'm gonna preview the mapping there so it's good it's working correctly and then preview the mapping there so the the, the server is ready to accept some data from that Excel okay so here there's an error so what is it so a unicode must be converted properly so we'll be using the data conversion okay so we're gonna call the id it's because that's the only column okay so the id we're gonna convert it to to a to a data type that would uh, be aligned on the um, other side which is the sql server i'll name this one the dt underscore text okay so we click ok so it will convert the code to ANSI okay so we're gonna run it hope it works okay. so intentionally it's not uh, correct so right now we're gonna choose another um, option so instead of using text stream we name this one as this one the DTSTR okay just click OK we run it there so id convert between unicode okay so we're gonna run it again so <clears throat> we're done with the two so let's say we're gonna call this dt this one okay we're gonna run it okay so the validation would be cannot okay, at code so we just choose again okay so it's this is like um, trial and error if you're or if you are new with this one um, we just choose let's say this one okay click start so the convert version between Unicode is not displaying correctly, okay? So cannot co convert between Unicode, okay? So let's say try another one, okay? So it's not working. So you have done everything. So the main problem here is that uh, under the SQL Server destination here, you're not mapping it correctly. So you need to shift this one to copy of ID. It's because the data conversion here is located here. Okay, so Unicode. So we just bring this back to the original choice, which is the um, uh, text stream. Click OK. So we're going to run this one. There. So I think it's not working. It's because progress. So this, uh, this, um, this, this issue is uh, basic the package in 32-bit mode it's not working correctly so what you're gonna do is you go to the solution explorer and then click image boss dale and then go to properties so with this property go to debugging so it's 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 forcing to use the 64-bit runtime so you need to set it up to false okay so apply it then click ok and then go to the control flow again there so we're gonna run it again 
there so you can see there are five rows transferred from the source going to the destination so we're gonna check the destination click OK and there you are so the data from the Excel okay from the Excel has been successfully transferred from from the Excel going to the SQL server okay okay so that's as clear practical demo on how ETL works with SSIS so for 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 questions and um, um, if someone needs training uh, just PM me private message me on my LinkedIn or or Facebook or or in this on, on YouTube or email me at jdale0730 at gmail.com I'm glad to assist you so thank you good day and have a nice um, life thank you